How do you represent your culture, identity, and experiences through abstraction and painting? How can you talk about your experiences without using words? These are some of the questions that I've been asking myself as a senior majoring in studio art. For my senior art project, I made paintings that were about reflecting on my family visits to Mexico and my experiences as a Mexican-American woman. I became interested in doing this project because I haven't really seen much representation of Latina artists, especially abstract painters. And many of the Latinx painters that are well known, like Frida Kahlo or Diego Rivera, are figurative painters. My goal for this project was to make paintings that could create an internal dialogue about identity, culture, and experiences. The color relationships in Mexican patterns and textiles have always excited me and I wanted to make paintings where I could incorporate these visual elements in a meaningful way. I sought to create paintings that reflected the intensity of my emotions during my visits to Mexico, as well as the specific memories and feelings that I associated with specific places. And this is a picture of one of the fabrics that I used in my studio for inspiration. And now I'll be flipping through pictures of my paintings that I made in chronological order. As for my process of how the paintings are made, my paintings begin from a place of intuition. I cover the canvas with different colors and forms, and this process helps me to discover forms organically. And it prevents me from strictly adhering to a specific structure or composition in my paintings. I use acrylic paint in my paintings, and layers are an important part of my process because the paintings start to take on their own life as the layers build. And the early stages of my paintings peek through in some areas of my paintings, showing the history of how it came about. The many layers of the acrylic paint also reveal the complexities of occupying different worlds. So my paintings that I made during the first half of this project were quite different from my more recent work. And during the beginning of the project, I was heavily influenced by the landscape in Mexico. I was struck by the way that the colorful houses looked against the muted dry landscape. And I really responded to that in my earlier paintings. And I also thought about architecture, geometry, rhythm, and receding space. And this is a painting where I start to think about different ideas during the project. And as I move forward in the project, I realized that I wanted to make my paintings more personal and specific to the memories and feelings that I experienced and less about the visual elements. So before I started my paintings, I thought about specific memories, places, and how I felt in these places. Then certain awkward or disjunctive visual relationships that developed in my paintings came from the feeling of not being able to completely fit in with either Mexican and American culture. With my newer works, my use of intricate Mexican patterns creates a slowness and its coexistence with larger felt out expressive areas creates an openness that snaps the structure of the painting into order. The visual tensions create a diversity of marks, color, and shapes that arrive in an integrated whole image. This project has helped me realize that I want to continue using exciting, colorful patterns and using emotions and experience to make work that is meaningful to me. Thank you.